Hey, Dr. Lindsay and Wendy here. Uh, here is a short video. You guys might have seen this guy before. He's been a regular for years, and he is a. Uh, what he says in the video, I think he's like uh, in the interview. I think he's like 69 years old, but he looks like he's about 50. He's beefy and uh, exercises all the time. He values uh, looking good and feeling good, and he got done a number of times elsewhere before we got a hold of him years ago and he looked like this. I didn't think that bad. We did his frontal hairline and then he's wanted to tweak that hairline and bring it down and do stuff on and off for the past, I don't know, we did three or four cases on it, but now he's just hair greed. He stops by periodically to see whether he's going bald any place and the answer is always <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and he did this video. All right, Steve, what are you, about 63, something like that? 69. So, wow, you look, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's a big, muscly guy, and you're a healthy dude. Uh, you yep. don't smoke cigarettes or anything like that. No smoking or drinking, no. And you'd gotten a bunch of hair transplants done before you came to me. That's and, correct. And I've done, I think, probably one or two good surgeries on you, and you got a little case of hair green, and you, you just added a little bit more. Let me just show your hairline. Sure. Pull your hair back with one of those hands. Sure, answers. okay. And, and you're, I mean, how long has it been since we did the last one? This is six months. Yeah. And you look and you let your hair, your hair loose. And bend over one time, let me just I'm gonna pull on top of your head. Any kind of bullshit I ever pulled on here or anything like that? No, none. Everything has always been straight up and, uh, you know, it's worked out fine. Uh, and how much do any of these things hurt? You can look back at the camera. Uh, how much did they hurt? Yeah. It's minimal compared to uh, the results you're gonna get. So, you know, even men can man up and take the shots. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, you took about a week off from exercising when you did these things? Yes, I followed your directions. It was like one, five days, five or six days, yes. Okay. Turn around, face the blue wall. Let me, let me show the back of your head. Okay. All the way around. So, this would, you got this kind of mop of hair, like Fabio kind of. Yeah. And where's my scar? It's hard to find. Yeah. Oh, there it is, right, right there. Any, uh, turn back around. Okay. Anything else I, that you think anybody looking at this ought to, ought to know? I know, I'd highly recommend it. Like I said, the last time was uh, six months ago and you filled in here and I'm very happy with it. So, and I think you had told me it might be up to a year where you could still see some more hair growth. Definitely, I mean, it's a year and a half probably for okay. a for 69 year old guys had a bunch of stuff done. Yes. It'll peak out next July 4th probably. Okay, good, that's my birthday. <laughs> All right, if I can help you, give me a call. Thanks for okay. coming. Thanks very much. So that dude does not look 69, right? No, mm -hmm. not at all. And, no, nothing. Yeah. And I think if you could uh, have one adjective or one statement, would have it. he's got a zest for life, and I think his hair makes him confident, right? Yes, and he comes to check this out. like, yeah, he doesn't call and make appointments. He knows when we're here. Yeah, he just <laughs> he rolls in. So <laughs> yeah. anyhow, uh, hair greed's really common. I mean, who would think this dude even has a concern about hair? But as long as you go to a reputable doctor who's not trying to biopsy your wallet every two weeks, you get an assessment that, hey, man, you look fine. Don't do anything else. Perfection's the enemy of good. And uh, uh, if we can help you, give us a call. Thanks.